Hey loves, I told y'all that I have been collecting a lot of makeup so today I just picked a few items out of my makeup bin and created this warm toned no liner makeup look. For today's eye makeup, I will be using the NYX Warm Rust Ultimate Multi Finish Eyeshadow Palette. I purchased this palette from Macy's for $18. It has four color stories, a cream, a corally peach, a deep red, and a brown. The three finishes are matte, shimmer, and sparkly metallic. I'm really excited about these products because today I will be trying out a new bronzer, blush, and highlight by Wet n Wild, one of my favorite drugstore brands. I purchased the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade What Shady Beaches from Walgreens for $5. I would like to tell you that this is their darkest shade as of right now and this is what it looks like swatched on my arm. I purchased the Color Icon Blush in the shade Blazin' Berry from Walgreens for $3. It's a nice deep berry shade and as you can see in both swatches, especially the shared out one, just how glowy it is. And lastly, I purchased their Mega Glow Highlighting Platinum Bar in the limited edition shade Winter Bloom from Walgreens as well for $5. This highlighter has two different shades. The first swatch is the bar, the second one is the star, <laughs> and the last swatch is both shades combined and kind of blended out. And I really like that it comes with a mirror if you need to touch up your makeup on the go. I will also be trying out four new brushes from the Elite Pro Beauty brand available at the 99 cent store. A blending, an eyeshadow, a lip, as well as a blush brush. Before I get started with the eye makeup, I'm priming my lid with my concealer. I'm starting out by taking the first shade in the palette, which is a creamy matte shadow, on my Vivis eyeshadow brush, concentrating it underneath the arch of my brow and blending it out. Now on my e.l.f. eye crease brush, I'm going into that third matte shadow, which is a beautiful deep red, and I'm applying it in and slightly above my crease. I'm using my Start Mini Blending Brush to apply the matte coral shade right above that red. I am applying the matte brown shadow to the outer one third of my lid using the AOA E124. I am using the Elite Pro Beauty eyeshadow brush to apply this shimmery champagne glitter shade to the rest of my lid. I really like this brush. It's nice and small, the perfect size and shape to apply shadow to my lid without crossing over into my crease. I'm applying the shimmery champagne shade right underneath the arch of my brow and blending it out with my Colormates eyeshadow brush. I decided to give the winged eyeliner a break for this look, so I'll be doing something that I don't do often, which is tight line. I'm taking my Nikki K 24 hour waterproof eyeliner and I'm just going along my upper lash line so I won't have any gaps when I put on my false lashes. I'm coating my lashes with the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. I do have a review for this product on my channel. It'll be available on the end screen of this video. And now I'm applying the Miss 3D Volume Lash in the style M364. Moving down to the lower lash line, I'm just going to repeat what I did up top. So with my AOA E115, I'm taking the matte red and applying it right underneath my lashes. With that same brush, I'm now blending out the edge of that red shadow with the coral one. 
Now I'm applying the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara to my lower lashes and I just want to mention this mascara is amazing for bottom lashes. And I'm lining my waterline with the Nikka K 24 Hour Waterproof Eyeliner. I'm using my Basic Beauty Contour Brush to apply the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. It has a soft, velvety feel. It's more orange than it is brown, um, something I'm not really used to, but I think overall it looked nice. I am applying the Color Icon Blush in Blazin Berry with the Elite Pro Beauty Blush Brush. This brush is super soft and round, great for applying blush directly to the apples and blending it up and out. This blush is shimmery. It gave my cheeks a nice glow, a nice rosy tint, and I just think it's so pretty. And lastly, the Wet n Wild product that I was most excited to try out, the Mega Glow Highlighting Platinum Bar in Winter Bloom. I'm applying it with my AOA F19. I love this highlighter. It is so pretty, but that's nothing new because I have almost all of the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Little Square highlighters and I just love their formula. I'm also taking the Winter Bloom highlighter on my e.l.f. Small Smudge brush and highlighting the inner corner of my eye. The NYX Ultimate Warm Rust Palette is amazing. I think my eye makeup came out very nice. And I'm also really loving the no liner look too. For the lips, first I am lining as well as filling in my lips with the Ruby Kisses Ultra Easy Lip Liner in brown. I applied the Maybelline Color Jolt Intense Lip Paint in the shade Stripped Down to the center of my lips and now I'm blending it out with the Elite Pro Beauty Lip Brush. Here's my completed makeup. Overall, I like all of the products that I featured today, but the two standout products in my opinion were the NYX Ultimate Warm Rust Palette and the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Platinum Bar in Winter Bloom. I also really like the Color Icon Blush in Blazin Berry. It was shimmery and it just added a nice glow to the cheeks. The bronzer was, I liked it. It's a, it's a bronzer. Um, <laughs> and all of the brushes that I picked up from the 99 cent store were a great deal, nice and soft and just applied my products the way that I wanted them to. So I definitely recommend makeup brushes from the 99 cent store because so far my luck has been pretty good. All of the products that I used will be listed down below in the description. I'd love it if you could drop a comment down below telling me what you thought and until next time, bye loves!